What's up everyone, Safe Down here, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell, I am back on Grand Theft Auto 5, and I honestly have not played it in a really long time. I've been diving into other games, but today, I'm going to be doing another GTA cheat code video. The last one I did was for GTA San Andreas, which got a ton of views, and I thank you guys all for it, and I really love doing the cheat code videos so I'm gonna look into other games that I have and seeing what cheat codes are available for them and sharing those with you as well but as you guys can tell today is another GTA 5 video I'm gonna be looking at GTA 5 cheat codes trying them out seeing if they work and sharing them down in the description below so I'm just gonna start off I think I have a total of 15 cheat codes that I picked out I try to pick out the best ones that I could find anything from uh, max health max ammo stuff like that to spawning certain vehicles I think this is gonna be a fun vehicle and I just really hope that some of these do work so as you can see here I am Franklin um, uh, let's get a little bit farther off of the uh, bridge here just in case I have to hit square which is jump and I accidentally jump over onto oncoming traffic but I'm just gonna bring up my list here on my laptop um, first one here is gonna be a simple one and it's one that would be fun to do uh, for you know short amount of time at least and that is drunk mode it basically increases your drunkenness making you clumsy as you guys know if you go and you drink in gta 5 it looks really realistic but let's see if the cheat code works by the way i'm on playstation 4 but i'm going to leave the cheat code available for xbox and xbox 360 down below as well but i'm only going to be explaining the uh, playstation 4 one because that is the console that i use so for the drunk mode you're going to want to hit triangle right right Left, right, square, circle, left. Let's see if I can get up. It says activated. Ooh, I am really drunk. <laughs> this is, uh... This is, like, right before you, uh... Drink yourself to death, like, of how drunk he seems. I actually am shocked that it works. Um, I know the GTA San Andreas video I did, some cheats worked, some cheats did not, so having the first one work, I'm really hopeful for all of these. So that's a pretty fun one, you can just go and driving is a lot funner, but uh, I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff, just showing you guys that the cheat codes, seeing whether or not they work and trying them out. The next one is going to be Super Jump, it gives you a much higher jump to me that is common sense but I'm reading the description off of each cheat from the website that I use so for this you're gonna have to hit L2 L2 square circle circle L2 square square left right X alright so it says cheat activated I look still a little drunk okay so at least the cheats do overlap let's see if it is ooh Okay, it does work. I don't know how much fun... Oh, I really hit it there. Let me see if I can run. Of course, I'm drunk, so I can't run and sprint too fast, but... I mean... This would be a fun one to use. I think I'd use this more than the drunken mode, just because... I don't know. And I'm actually surprised that I'm not getting fall damage, because you are going from a reasonably high height. Uh, but we're just going to move on to the next one here. The next one is Skyfall, literally drops you out from the sky, of course without a parachute. Um, so for this one you're going to have to hit L1, L2, R1, R2, left, right, left, right, L1, R, L2, R1, L2, left, right, left, right. Can't activate this cheat right now, cheat denied. Um, so I'm curious as if it's because this cheat might not overlap uh, as you can tell I'm still drunk and the I'm gonna call it moon jump the super jump is still there so maybe to drop out of the sky it won't overlap but it did come up saying just cheat decline so I'm it, it is registering it so I'm assuming it's gonna work 
um, if I didn't already use other cheats. So I should have started with that one if I would have known that. But we're gonna move on to the wanted level. So I'm gonna raise the wanted level and you're gonna see hopefully a star up here and the police wanted wanting me. And then I'm gonna do the one immediately after for lowering the wanted level. So to raise it, R1, R1, circle, R2, left, right, left, right, left, right. And it does. Right now I have one star, so quickly I'm going to lower it. R1, R1, circle, R2, right, left, right, left, right, left. So I got my wanted level, and then I downed it. So I lowered it, or sorry, I raised it, then I lowered it. I did that really quick, so I'm going to leave it, all of these down in the description below. That one I couldn't really try to do slow. I wanted to do it quick just so I didn't have the police here. Uh, the next one is going to be explosive rounds and then flame rounds. So I do have weapons. I'm just going to choose a pistol. Um, first we're going to see if there is there is R2. So I don't want to have the gun in my hand while entering the cheat code because it's going to fire a shot and then I'm going to get the police again and then I'm going to have to use the lower wanted level one again. So let's start off with the explosive rounds. Right, square, X, left, R1, R2, left, right, right, L1, L1, L1. So it did activate it. It says bang, bang. So let's see if it will work. Wow, this one would be a lot of fun. So now before moving on to the next one, I'm going to lower it again. So R1, R1, circle, R2, right, left, right, left, right, left. It says it works, but maybe I had two stars, R1, R1, circle, R2, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so I got all my stars off of me, so that one does work. It goes one star at a time, so if you have a full five stars, you have to enter it five times to get all of it off of you. But that's really cool. It does work. This one would be a lot of fun, just to go on a rampage, just to cause as much chaos as possible. So this one so far is my favorite one, but we also have the flame rounds. Um, I think the explosive one, in my opinion, would be the more usable one. The one that you'd have more fun causing damage with, the flame rounds. Let's just see what it does. So, L1, R1, square, R1, left, R2, R2 R1, sorry, left, square, right, L1, L1. I don't like how I jumped right up on the uh, bridge there. So, it does say flame bullets. That's not what I wanted. It still has explosive, I think, activated. Has to be. I don't know, I can't really tell. But uh, it did say it activated it, but I think because I already have explosive ones in, it's gonna do that one because that's the most damaging one. So R1, R1, circle. R2, right, left, right, left, right, left. And I have to do it again. R1, R1, circle. R2, right, left, right, left, right, left. Wanted stars down. So that one's very useful. The next one is a simple changing of the weather. Just cycles through the nine weather patterns in the game. And it'd be very interesting to see if there is a snow weather pattern in the game, just like you can see in story and also around Christmas for online. I'm not going to put it, it, it through nine times. We're just going to put it through once here and see if it changes the weather. R2, X, L1, L1, L2, 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 square. It did extra sunny weather. My character is still drunk, that's incredible. But at least this cheat does work as well. Is it the most useful one? No, but if you find it's always raining, you can of course change that. And I think that is a useful aspect. Um, if you don't want it, or let's say if you want to make YouTube videos on your own for story mode, I don't know if these work online, I'm just trying out story mode today. But if you want to make your own videos and it's raining and you'd rather it better, you can go and change the weather, so that is a useful one. And I believe the rest are just spawning vehicles. So up first, we're gonna spawn a caddy, which is a golf cart. So circle, L1, left, R1, L2, X, R1, L1, circle, X. It did spawn one, and it actually spawned the better of the two that are in the game. Next is a Comet, which I believe is a Porsche. I haven't played this game in a while. So I believe it's the Porsche, R1 circle, R2, <laughs> forgot I had that, right, L1, L2, XX square, R1. 
and it did spawn it. It's this vehicle I thought it was, the Porsche cheap version of it in the game. Next, I'm moving on really quick with these, a Rapid GT, R2, L1, circle, right, L1, R1, right, left, circle, R2. Spawns that one as well. And at least these ones, the vehicle cheats, they can be spawned all together, which is cool. Because sometimes, I, I can't remember which video game it was, maybe GTA 4, if you put a cheat code in, if you put another vehicle in after, it erases the first one and it only spawns the last cheat that was put in. So at least one this one you can have multiple vehicles spawn around you. Next one, stretch limo. Bring the screen back here. It is R2 right. Maybe I shouldn't have shot the car with the explosive ammo. So we're gonna spawn here at the hospital, and I'm gonna try to spawn a stretch limo. That was a mistake for me. I'm literally looking on the screen whenever I'm saying them and doing them. Not really focused on my character. Should have known better. And it does, so if you die, it deactivates the cheat. That is very interesting. That is, to me, good to know. And of course it's raining again. I don't care about the rain right now. I just want to see if these vehicles will spawn. So R2, right, L2, left, left, R1, L1, circle, right. It does spawn it. So now before I move too far, I want to see if I can spawn a vehicle on top of it or if it will erase one, so let's do the garbage truck. Circle, R1, circle, R1, left, left, R1, L1, circle, right. Oh, cheat denied, can't spawn that vehicle here. So let's see if I can aim away from the last one, see if I can spawn it out here. Circle, R1, circle, R1, left, left, R1, L1, circle, right. You can't spawn it here. I wonder where you have to spawn it. There's, I don't know, that's where the other vehicle works. So garbage truck one might not work. Um, the last two here, let's do the motorcycle first. R1, right, left, right, R2, left, right, square, right, L2, L1, L1. It does spawn. I actually like this little uh, Honda bike. I use it online. But the last vehicle, which is going to be the most fun, or at least in my opinion on this list, the most fun vehicle to use, and that's going to be the Buzzard Helicopter. I'm really surprised there's not a cheat code for a tank. I know, um, I think GTA had a tank. I think Vice City had a cheat code for a tank. But GTA 5 does not. So that's a little weird for me. But we're going to try the Buzzard Helicopter here. Circle, circle, L1, circle, 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 L1, L2, R1, triangle, circle triangle oh you can't spawn it here Let's see if I can move away for a little bit um, I thought I was close to the beach I guess not let's see if the other side of this bus depot this parking lot here let's try it out Gonna try to go in the middle where when I hit triangle it's not gonna divert me. Perfect. To uh to a vehicle. Let's try this one again. I really want the buzzer to work. Circle, circle, L1, circle, 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 L1, L2, R1, triangle, circle, triangle. It worked. I maybe just needed to have a little bit more of an open area, so I'm glad I moved here. So this is fun. Um I think this one's gonna be the most useful one and especially the explosive um weapons uh, ex sorry explosive ammo I think that one will be a blast but it's very interesting let's actually test this out really quick if explosive ammo will work with a buzzard helicopter or if it's only your um, your ammo so let me scroll back up here to explosive rounds move over here right square X, left, R1, R2, left, right, right, L1, L1, L1. Activated. Getting this buzzard, buzzard and see if they are explosive. Of course, I think I accidentally hit muscle, uh, muscles. Um, wait. Is that explosive? only one way to tell let's shoot a vehicle I haven't flown in so long in GTA this is uh 
They are explosive. I know you can usually blow up a vehicle with this, but... Yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, it worked! Ah, oh, I'm really happy. You can do a lot more damage now. Of course, the uh, Buzzard already has missiles on it, so you can just use the missiles if you want. But to have the explosive damage, it makes it a little bit more interesting. It would be a fun to go in a huge rage. Of course, you can obviously go and use any of these cheats. That works. The garbage truck, maybe I needed to have it more in an open area. And I think Skyfall, you needed to have no other cheats activated to make it work. Um, I think that is the biggest issue with those ones. But at least this guy, this will give you guys a little bit more of something if you guys want to go on GTA Story and attempt these cheat codes just have fun just to enjoy gta i honestly haven't played this game in so long and if you guys want i will in the future try these cheat codes on gta online and see if they work something tells me they won't mainly because uh, gta online it's very strict with modding and using cheats and stuff like that but if you guys want me to attempt it since i don't play the game much anymore i will try it and if they ban me they ban me that to me personally is not a concern I just don't play the game too much I just wanted to share this with you guys in case you still play GTA 5 wanted to try out cheat codes and the only thing else that I want to mention is before you use any of these cheat codes uh, just know that the current session you're going to be in you can't earn any trophies so if you're just getting on to dick around and just to cause mayhem just make sure at the end whenever you're done try not to hit save I believe I think that's how it was with San Andreas but also keep in mind that you can earn trophies in the future, unlike San Andreas is, if you use one cheat code, you don't get any trophies for the PS4 version. All trophies are disabled. This one here, it depends on your session. So if you use cheat codes in a session, you won't get any trophies earned for that specific session. So just want to put that warning out there because I think I forgot to do it in the early, uh, early time in the video, right in the beginning, right in the intro. I should have slipped that in there, but I didn't. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing GTA 5 cheat codes. I know there's no money uh, cheat code available. That does suck. And again, there's no tank, which would have been a lot of fun too. But I think with what I gave you, all the vehicles that you can spawn in, the buzzard, and also the explosive ammo and stuff like that, lowering and uh, raising your want level, you guys will have a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.